Right, lads, and welcome to another weekend roundup. Um, a lot of the matches, obviously, it's Thursday. I mean, generally, the weekend roundups do come quite late, but you know. Um, I think I've watched all the matches, so I don't know them in great detail, but the ones I do did watch, I will talk about them in detail. The ones that can be talked about in detail, of course. Uh, so, the first match Man United versus Crystal Palace. Obviously, I missed most of these games because I, um, I went to the Charlton Watford games, so it's a bit hard to catch all of them. But Man United versus Palace, um, uh, it's fit. I predicted a 3 1 win for Man United, it ended up being 2 0, which is very similar. There was a couple of controversial calls out of controversial panel, Ashley Young diving again. But other than that, it was really just like. It was really quite. Uh, I think Man United did enough to get the win. I'm sure. I'm sure you could. I'm sure Palace felt held up, hard done by. But um, end of that, uh, from what I could tell, Man United were the better team. Next game was Villa versus Newcastle. I believe a two-one win for Villa. It was actually a two-one win for Newcastle. So that's not. It's not too bad. In terms of for Newcastle, they had. Newcastle, that's their first win of the season, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, it's a good win against Newcastle. Obviously, Benteke scoring again for Aston Villa. Uh, Benteke is a really quality player. Uh, but again, I didn't really see much that match, so it's hard. I can't really say much. Next game was Fulham versus West Brom. Ended up being. I picked a 1 0 win for Fulham. It was actually 1 0. Again. I didn't really see this match, so it wasn't much. I can't really say much. Next game, Hull versus Cardiff. I predicted a 2 1 win for Cardiff, it ended up being 1 all. Uh, I did watch a bit of that game, and it seemed like a fairly fair result, as far as I could tell. From what I can remember, there probably is, there was probably some kind of decision that I've just completely forgotten about, but as far as I can remember, it was about the right result. Uh, next game was Spurs versus Norwich. Finished 2 0 to Spurs, which was exactly, was exactly what I was predicted as well. So Goodson scored both their goals. Uh, Ericsson playing really well. Uh, David Turn, Christian Ericsson playing really well. We've been linked with a lot of Premier League clubs over the last few years, eventually, obviously, going to Spurs. Uh, so that was a good debut for him. Um, overall, Spurs probably deserved the win. Two good goals from Sigurdsson. Yeah, good ga- quite a good game, really. Uh, the next game was Stoke versus Man City. I did one new win for Man City. Actually, it was nil nil. Um, because Man City just really didn't look a threat going forward that they should do. You know, they've got such a good attack. Like Aguero, they've got Negredo, they've got Jovetic, they've got Dzeko. They've got so many world class, not quite world class, but top quality strikers they should be they should be scoring against Stoke City really no offense to Stoke City of course um so yeah it's a bit of a poor result from Man City and a poor start to the season uh, next game was Sunderland versus Arsenal obviously on Mesh Ozil's debut up to 2 0 with Arsenal ended up being 3 1 Mesh Ozil played well when he was on obviously he was still he wasn't 100% fit came off it came up at half time or just after half time. Uh, set up the first goal and laid Walcott on the plate for a couple of others. But he did. Scott couldn't finish. Surprise, surprise. Um, but then there was a couple of things where Sutton were going to be very hard done by. Uh, obviously, there was a chance for them to go. I think it was 2 was it two 1 up or 2 0. I think it was something to. to the, draw level and I really don't understand this what the referees doing because they were in a uh, Sagner and Abdadore were in like kind of a, they were almost wrestling them like head blocking each other and whatnot not headlock full on headlocking but you know they were really struggling Abdadore shaped Sagner free and scored but the referee brought it back for a free kick that was his first mate, mistake because he, he was clearly an advantage I it was clearly an advantage. He should have uh, held on. He should have held on until because the ball was free. There was no one anywhere near the ball was free rolling around. He should have waited until someone made contact with the ball. 
and he didn't. He just blew up, and yeah, and it went on that Jose Altidore actually scored. And second of all, the second mistake is it should have been a red card because obviously a goal scoring opportunity. If they the player then goes on to score, you know, you can't give more blatant goal scoring opportunity when he does score. You know, so that should it should have been a red card in my opinion. You know, and he did, and again. I think the referee had quite a poor game overall, but uh, Ozil again played well. Ramsey played incredibly well, continuing his great start to the season. Um, then you got Everton versus Chelsea. I predicted a three-two win for Chelsea. Chelsea was one 0 to Everton. It's a very good result for Everton. Their first win of the season, uh, and Chelsea played didn't play terribly, but. Definitely not good enough for the win, in my opinion. And Eto, I mean, what's happened to him? I said he will score goals because although he might have gone slower, he might not be as agile, he might not be this, he's obviously gotten older. You never lose your goal scoring instinct. It looks like he's lost his goal scoring instinct. Because he, first of all, you know, the, the tackle, the Barry tackle was good. It was a good tackle. But I feel like if Eto just took it like part, like took it round him, or just knocked it to the side. It Barry would have been left for dead, surely. So I don't know. And also he missed another sitter, like a was it an open goal? Even all I know was it was a sitter that he really should have been scoring, which is really unfortunate that he's actually and he there was he had two or three other shots in the match where it was just like they're not even they're like miles off target. It was, not the Eto that played for Barcelona, not the Eto played for Inter, not even the Eto who played for Ansi Makala, you know. The next game was possibly the most boring game so far in the Premier League. It was Southampton versus West Ham. Obviously, the 1 0 win for Southampton, it was 0 0. It was an incredibly boring game, not much to say about that one. Okay, next game I've got quite a bit to say about Swansea versus Liverpool. Now, there's so many store there's so many ways you could talk about Shelby's performance in that game. Not only did he get a goal and get an assist for Swansea, he also got two assists for Liverpool. And obviously I like Shelby, he's um a Cholton youth product, so obviously I've got a, a place in my heart for Shelby. But he was so unfortunate that he scored and on that hand I scored in like the first three, four minutes. And then Gave away two goals, two goals of well, one to Sturridge, one to Moses, who scored on his debut, obviously. And then he goes on and gets an assist for Michu. It's like such a mixed game for him. I still feel like he played well for the majority of that game, other than the two part, other than the two bad passes that led to their goals. But it's really unfortunate for him, and I really like John Joe Shelby. I really do. Uh, obviously, Liverpool's maintaining their top of the league. Still top of the league, which is quite incredible. Will they continue it? Is it just a good start for the season? In my opinion, yes. I don't think they're. I don't think they're going to be in the top four come May. Personally, I mean, I may be proved wrong, and I'll be the first to admit it if I am. But I just can't see them continue for that season. Like the depth of their squad, I don't think is enough to continue this kind of form throughout the season. Like, what happens if Sturridge? And Suarez both get injured, and it could definitely happen. What happens then? You know, they haven't got a striker for the next game. They haven't got a striker for the next game, as far as I know, because Suarez is still on his ban, and Sturridge might, could be injured. I'm not sure if he actually is injured, but he could be. Coutinho's out for six weeks now. You know, so it could start going downhill for them. Hopefully, they get, if they get Suarez back soon enough, hopefully they get a good result, get Suarez back, and uh, nick himself. And he can get back on form, whether he will or not, is yet, again yet to know. The last game was Watford versus Cholton, the one I went to. Uh, predicted 2-1 to Watford, being very negative, and we drew 1-0. I'm not going to go into depth about this, I've already done a video specifically on that match. So this has been the weekend roundup. Uh, and I guess, and that's it. So please like, subscribe comment, tell, just talk, just, and you know, just maybe leave your thoughts on the next ma set of matches, or just, or what did you, was there any particular results that surprised you, any matches 
maybe even the goal of the week, maybe even the goal of the weekend for you. Anything, just comment. I love, I love, I love seeing comments down there. I love interacting with my free subscribers. Um, but yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys later.